Hello everyone uh, and welcome back uh, to the last episode of this uh, video series uh, the Alan Bradley PLC with uh, SQL uh, now in this um, last uh, episode uh, I have decided to split it in uh, small five videos uh, just for uh, you know the length of material we have to go through uh, so to keep it uh, to keep the videos uh, short and concise uh, I'm gonna demonstrate this last episode in uh, small five videos um, so and as you know as you can see in the screen uh, what we're trying to accomplish is we are going to log uh, some data from our Rockwell PLC to an SQL server and then retrieve the data back to the PLC and then publish it uh, to uh, the web browser in in my case I have a uh, Chrome so that's what I'm going to be using and just to uh, bring you a little bit closer to the process we're going to go through um, as you can see here in the screen so this will be uh, step one which will be this this video and what we're going to try to accomplish and demonstrate is uh, simply log into the our SQL server and then we're going to create a table in our SQL database and that uh, will uh, conclude step one so let's start so as you can see here I am already online with my PLC and I have uh, the logic here for uh, my uh, login to SQL it's already uh, set up with all the data uh, that need to be uh, in all the parameters are set and then uh, I also have here to create uh, my SQL which is step one to create my SQL uh, table in my database I'm using for that the SQL custom and just to show you quickly uh, inside so all I'm doing here is um, essentially I have a little query here so I want to create a table called my table and it's going to have a timestamp a label a description and the value uh, as real so as you can see here so that's what we're going to try to accomplish uh, in here so before I trigger uh, this logic to work I just want to show you quickly in the SQL so here is my database the logics DB now if we expand the tables uh, I'm just gonna refresh um, so here we go you can see there is only one table right now so I'm gonna go back to my logic and now I am going to enable the login and also the creation of the table and then we'll see what happened so there we go so we are successfully logged in as you can see here and now we are going to trigger this so we can create our table and I just put here a large bit so once the table is created it's gonna stop so as you can see here table has been created this is stopped from recreating again or resending the query again and now we're gonna go back to our SQL server let's refresh this and as you can see here is our table created from our PLC if we open it up we are going to see the columns that we mentioned timestamp label description and value so that's conclude step one I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and I will see you in step two thank you for watching